you would have known the Collins creatures. This is a young, common water snake that I caught. Now, several years ago when I was much younger, I caught an adult water snake, and I filmed a video on that. But since I found this one, and it's been a very long time, I want to make a more complete video that's in my new style. The scientific name of the common water snake is Nerodia cipidon. They are from the eastern and midwestern United States, going out to the Rockies and have a bit of range in southern Canada. They live in aquatic areas like swamps, ponds, rivers, lakes, and streams in both mountainous and lowland areas. Now he's a pretty young snake. Several years ago, I may have called him a baby, but ever since I found that itty bitty baby garter snake, that I think this guy is a yearling. The babies are more colorful and patterned than the adults with their dark brown bands and their bellies are cream colored. As they get older, they get to around two to three feet, though some exceptionally large ones will be around four feet and they tend to lose their patterning just becoming a plain brown. They also have keeled scales, which means that their scales have a ridge in the middle, which makes them feel rough. This is a trait that they share with other snakes like pit vipers and egg eating snakes. And speaking of pit vipers, common water snakes are often killed because people confuse them for the much more dangerous cotton mouth. Now you shouldn't kill snakes in general as they all have a purpose in the environment, but you should also not pick up a snake unless you're 100% sure you know what it is. Where I live in Pennsylvania, there are no cotton mouths as cotton mouths are a southern species of snake, but the, the distribution of, water, of cotton mouths and water snakes does overlap. The main differences between the two species of snakes is that water snakes have round pupils while cotton mouths have slit pupils like most vipers. The water, water snake has a round head uh, while the cotton mouth has a diamond shaped head also shared with other vipers and the water snake has a pink mouth while the cotton mouth has its famous white mouth. Both snakes are brownish with striped patterns, though the pattern is different on individual snakes. Cottonmouths also tend to be darker, and the cottonmouths also have heat sensing pits. Now, most of these details are fairly hard to see unless you're up close and personal with the snakes. Now, cottonmouths will use their bright white mouth as a warning, and if you are close enough to observe the cottonmouth of a cottonmouth, you are way too close to that cotton mouth and way too personal with that cotton mouth. So you should definitely back away from it. Common water snakes are generally very defensive and will bite a lot. Now this guy hasn't bitten me at all and nor must on me, which is really a surprise because I was expecting him to bite me at least 12 times by now. Uh, and this doesn't mean that they're mean or aggressive, it just means that they try to protect themselves more. And as I said, they will also musk, which is a trait they share with other snakes, though their musk is particularly bad because of what they eat, like fish. When we caught that big one years ago, my dad got musked by it, and boy did that stuff smell. And he washed his hands like 10 times and it would just not come off. Young water snakes are predated on by large fish, herons, and snapping turtles, and even the adults are predated, can be predated on by herons, so it's no wonder they're so defensive. And in the wild, they eat things like fish, salamanders, frogs, uh, the occasional small mammal, as well as crayfish, so it's no wonder that their musk smells so bad. And for reproduction, water snakes are ovoviviparous, meaning that the females will have eggs develop inside of them that will then hatch into baby snakes and then they'll give live birth. And this is a trait shared with other snakes like garter snakes, rattlesnakes, and boa constrictors. So we're in the back of my property and we're in a drought, so there's no standing water on my property, but this area is still a bit moist and when it does rain, this will fill up into a nice pool. And I know there's plenty of prey for him, so I let him go here. So I hope you enjoyed and learned something about common water snakes. I learned a little bit more from researching for this video. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I will stick some on Collins creatures.